Hey everybody, it's Karima Renee, the Philly Bra Lady, and I'm back because I got a comment um, and a question on one of my most recent videos where I was discussing um, a fitting with a client, and the question was, why don't I recommend wireless bras or bralettes? And I want to clarify that because I think that part of what I said was misinterpreted. So it's not that I don't recommend wireless bras or bralettes. I do. I think that they have a purpose and they have a place and they have a client that they are for. For instance, the bra that I'm wearing right now, especially after surgery, is a wireless bralette. Um, because right now I can't wear wire. Um, so that is why I am wearing that. However, again, time, place, person. So I know a lot of y'all are new to getting in this deep with bras, but take this walk with me. So bras come in various different shapes and forms. And even when you're talking about a category like wireless or bralette, even still, certain manufacturers make certain things to fit a certain type of client. So for instance, this particular bra is your average bralette. This one does have wire. Some bralettes have wire, some bralettes don't. It just depends. But this is actually typically what most women think of when they think of a bralette. However, this is made for a particular type of client. So there's these types of bralettes. If somebody wanted to wear that, fine. It has a wire in it, so even better. We're still going to get lift and support while still keeping it cute. Now let's move on. This is a wireless bra, right? So basically, it is a wire-free version of a wired bra right here right there is no wire in this bra so there's this this only goes up to a certain cup and certain band because again it's for a certain client nine times out of ten the same girl or woman that would buy this would not buy this these are for two different clients right the reason why the second one only goes up to a certain cup size is because it's for a certain client cool however even if the green one did have didn't have a wire in it it still wouldn't gravitate towards the same type of customers they're two different styles typically those women are also going to be two different body types shapes and sizes as well now let's move on this is a wireless bra right so basically, it is a wire-free version of a wired bra right here, right? There is no wire in this bra. So there's this. This only goes up to a certain cup and certain band because, again, it's for a certain client. Nine times out of ten, the same girl or woman that would buy this would not buy this. These are for two different clients, right? The reason why the second one only goes up to a certain cup size is because it's for a certain client. Cool. However, even if the green one did have, didn't have a wire in it, it still wouldn't gravitate towards the same type of customers. They're two different styles. Typically, those women are also going to be two different body types, shapes, and sizes as well. All right. So now we have our third wireless bra this one right here it's actually a really beautiful bra it has nice lace on the side has lace here nice wide band all of the things this one only goes up to a triple d this goes up to a k cup these two bras are both wireless but one is constructed for a woman who is of one body type and size the other one is constructed for someone else. This is the type of wireless bra typically I would give to clients who cannot do a wire. This bra also does come in a wire. The fit is completely different, but this is for somebody who cannot do a wire. And what I was saying in that video is a very simple construct, which is this. 
you cannot use wireless as a way for you to solve the wire problem that you're having in 98% of the cases. Most women who are wearing wired bras that hurt, they hurt because the wire is not the right size. The bra is not the right size. The band is not the right size. The cup is not the right size. Overall, the bra is not the right size. There has been this ongoing myth that won't die that wire is going to hurt. No, wire is not always going to hurt. I wore a wire for 29 years without a problem. My Even when I was in the wrong size bra, my wire was never really an issue like that. However, anything that doesn't fit is going to hurt. Because we're not educated as consumers about bras, we don't know these things, right? So we're walking around thinking one thing when in reality something else is really going on. You cannot use a wireless bra as a band-aid. It is not going to solve the problem. You have to fix the root of the issue, which is the fact that you don't truly know your bra size. You don't truly know what works for your body. And that's okay because most people don't. Before I was fit, I didn't know. I learned these things from wearing bras over the course of several years. I was measured when I was 21. I will be 40 next year. So I've learned these things from that. And plus now being in this industry for 13 years, I have been a person who has worn bras and has seen more breasts than the average woman will ever. So yes, if you want to know whether or not you can or cannot do wire, come work with me. We can figure all that out. Um, you're not alone. Most women think that wire bras are going to hurt. They have to hurt. Are there some women who just can't do a wire? Yes, there are. Um, I realized that when I was pregnant with my daughter and my belly was so big that when I sat down, the wire dug into me. Um, so that's another question that I ask and you can ask yourself that. Where is the wire hurting? If it's hurting here, that's definitely because the bra is the wrong size. If it's hurting here, it could be the fact that you can't do wire because of the belly jelly, or it could be that the bra is the wrong size. We won't know until you get properly measured, you put it on, and trust me, once you put a bra on that fits you.